So you got yourself a brand new Blink camera and only after the purchase did you realize that the camera was basically a paperweight without its companion sync module usually sold separately. So what is a sync module and what does it actually do? Why is this necessary for your Blink system? And are there any workarounds or alternatives? Having been a user of Blink cameras for years now, I will be detailing it all in this video. So stay tuned and watch till the end of this video to get all your queries on sync module quenched at last. The Blink sync module essentially acts as a hub for all your Blink cameras. This is the place where all the communications take place and is the center point of contact between your connected cameras and the Blink servers. Each sync module can connect to a maximum of 10 Blink cameras and creates what is called a system. You can configure the whole system depending on your needs with features ranging from arming or disarming the whole system to setting up scheduled operations based on time of day. The sync module is primarily used for battery-powered Blink cameras and one of the main benefits of having such a hub for your system is, well, great battery life. Thanks to the sync module, the battery-powered cameras basically sip battery since they don't need to be actively connected to your Wi-Fi. The sync module specifically uses a low power radio frequency instead of an active network connection to communicate with the cameras. This is effectively what gives your Blink cameras the year-long battery life. The sync module also makes the management of multiple cameras much more streamlined and simplified on your Blink app. But this also means that you will need the sync module active and powered on at all times or else your whole system is basically just for show. If you have more than 10 cameras, then of course you will need a second sync module. The Blink app can handle multiple systems without much hassle. Now, the Blink Sync module needs to be actively connected to the internet to communicate and relay information with the Blink servers. This is what makes the Blink app experience so seamless. Just strategically place the Sync module in a centralized position between your internet router and your cameras so that the module can communicate with its connected cameras while in touch with the Blink servers. But these devices are security cameras at the end of the day and there would be situations and environments where you won't be able to access the internet at all times. Fortunately, this doesn't make your cameras obsolete thanks to local storage. The sync module has a USB port where you can plug in a thumb drive and enable recorded clips to be stored on it as an alternative to your Blink Cloud. If you have not subscribed to any of the Blink subscription tiers, all the clips hence recorded will be saved onto the local storage drive. But if you've subscribed to the Blink Plus, the Basic or even the Free Trial, the clips recorded will be first saved to the cloud and eventually back to the local storage as backup clips every 24 hours. Just keep in mind that you cannot view your backup clips saved onto the local storage directly from your Blink app. Unfortunately, you will still need to purchase a separate sync module even if you plan on using a single battery-powered Blink camera. There are no alternatives or workarounds for this since Blink cameras rely on their access to the Blink servers to relay content to and from the Blink app and the sync module is necessary for that. It is an added expense to bear in mind and it's not like single device connectivity for smart home cameras is technologically infeasible. One of Blink's main competitors, WISE, has popular cameras that do not require a hub like the Sync module and can still manage multiple cameras. But WISE's implementation has its fair share of downsides and could be a potential topic for another video, so stay tuned for that by subscribing to our channel. In short, Blink's reliance on the Sync module is a net positive if you're okay with shelling out a few extra bucks. Or you could look into the wired series of cameras like the Blink Mini series, which do not require a sync module for connectivity. 
And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about regarding Sync module and its various functionalities. If you found this video useful, consider leaving your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting Blink content like this.